Greetings, everyone. Brad here with Mild Mannered EDC, and today we are doing another Mild Mannered Quickie video. And this Quickie is on the Boker Kalishnikov. So, you know, this is a knife that's pretty hyped, right? Um, it's something that everybody kind of want to get their hands on, or at least wants to try at least once. And that was sort of the case for me. It is an affordable automatic, right? And so that's one of the things that I think is its biggest draw. Everybody, you know, everybody kind of likes the idea of an auto, but the reality is to do an auto well um, actually takes some, some skill. And, you know, autos aren't legal everywhere. So it, that's another component to, to these. But today we're going to talk about this particular Boker auto. So um, this particular one is actually a, was a Blade HQ exclusive. You see you got that Ben Blue. Everybody likes that, right? Um, it has an overall blade length of 3.375 inches. It has a blade thickness of 0.12 um, inches. It has a handle length of 4.25 inches. There you go. And an overall 7.625 inch profile. The weight on this uh, Boker Kalishnikov is 3.65 ounces, and that about does it for the specs. So let's kind of get into this. So the Boker, one of the things I think people like about the Boker is, or at least the Boker Kalishnikov, is the look, right? It's got kind of a cool look, um, and it's certainly a very unique look. It's got this uh, dagger-style blade. Uh, it's OS-8, um, so, you know, like that or don't like that, that's what it is, and that's a big reason uh, for cost being what it is. Um, and it's got a flat grind. So, it, but the flat grind starts about right here, right? And so it doesn't actually, you know, I mean, it's all, it's, it's all right, but it doesn't get down to the most thinnest of grinds. Um, and the way the grind kind of stops right here, I don't know. So you've got an aluminum handle, you've got a button plunge type lock. Um, it is possible to kind of do this right? Um, you cannot open it without that depressing the button. And it fires out pretty, pretty aggressively. So it's got a good snap to it. You have an aluminum handle and you've got a pretty unique um, deep carry pocket clip. It does sit very deep in the pocket. I mean, you can't really see the knife at all when it's in your pocket. So, you know, kind of what are my, what are my thoughts on this knife? You know, this is one of those knives that it gets a lot of hype. Everybody kind of wants to own one. I said that earlier in the video. For me, it's just not that great a knife. Um, it, it's just not that good. And, and part of the reason I don't think it's that good is, is that action. The materials aside, which is a whole nother conversation. So you can see, so with this action, as it stands now, I don't even know if you can hear that, but there's pretty, pretty substantial blade play and blade rock, both. To tighten this to the point where it gets rid of that. Oops, still some blade play. Let's try it a little bit more. Okay, no blade play here. Much harder. Now let's see what happens when I push the button. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is happening. So to get to this, to get this to the point of no blade play, let's back it off just a little. Oh, there we go. And even if I pull that the rest of the way, yeah, there's still blade play. So the bottom line for me is these knives are just not made that well. Um, it's not a knife that. You know, is it unsafe? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's built in a way that's um, a safety issue, but it's just, they're just not built that great. I mean, the quality really isn't there. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just, that's pretty frustrating. And for what you, what else is on the market for, you know, that 35 to $45 price range, and you can get these kind of within that. And these come in a million different blade styles and colors and, you know, whatever. But I just... You can spend your money elsewhere and get a much better knife. I mean, shoot, this rat two or rat number one in OS eight is a much better knife, in my opinion, <laughs> than this. Um, and it comes in a bunch of fun, cool uh, colors too. So, I mean, I just I am not somebody who really gets the hype around this Kalishnikov. I don't get the the. It, I don't see a lot of value in it. And for me, to have a tool that just doesn't quite fit right, yeah. It's just not. So this this particular knife is not for me. I've owned it. I do own it. I never carry it. I hardly ever use it. I keep it at my workbench. Um, and that's about as, as good a review as I think I can give on a knife like this. Um, I think it's, it's a workbench knife that you just really don't worry about what happens to it. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this quickie. Um, 
Stay safe out there. Be mild-mannered to each other. And all the best.